We're getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Minnie said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? be the boiler, right? Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. And maybe there's another way in. time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour. 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then. Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother. Short, scarred face. See? He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Shit. Of course she had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. Without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. 
I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Take care of Louis first. He's... He's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. Louis. Louis. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Please. Don't now. fucking point that at me. Pay for this. I promise you, Lewis. <laughs> Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be home soon. Staying here that long. <laughs> Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it. They must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me.
Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck, you little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it The Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. They threatened to cut out their tongues? They only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. 
she convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie. No, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? You're evil! You are fucking evil! Y'all better back away from the door. Violet, calm down. You saw what they did to Lewis. Just do what they say. Why? So I can become a soldier in their army? Someone who kills the people they love? Fuck that! Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it or you gonna get yourself. No! Get off of me! Easy! Stay still! Shit! Fuck you! No! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! You deserve to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can! I will put a knife right to the side of your head! Big talk for a little guy. I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are! Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clementine! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that! This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Min, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. Sorry we never searched for you. For Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker Marlin. If I ever thought there was a chance... I know. I know. Okay? But Sophie's dead. You all need to understand. This is the only way! Lay down, stay in line, or you die! The people you love, die! If you just do what they say, you can live! All of you! Behind you! You're the fucking problem here! I won't let you get them all killed! No! Minerva! I can't let her leave! Shit! We have to-
to go. I can't. I can't leave her. Go, I'll catch up. Clem, come on. We have to get the hell out of here. Go, I need to find AJ. Better see you on land. You will. Focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of food, comfortable beds for you and Clem. Found one more share a room. sneaking over the docks. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. <clears throat> no wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. Kill it. No! Fuck! Easy there, Ted. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine, go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <coughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! Everyone leave! My crew and I will leave! 
We won't bother you anymore. AJ! She's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She cut my friend's tongue out. You don't have to do this, please! It's a trick! Don't you fucking dare, AJ! Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die! Do it, AJ! Pilgrim of sorrow Cast out in this wide world to roam Uncertain of life for tomorrow I want to make heaven my home Sometimes I am tossed and driven Sometimes I know not where to of a city called heaven I'm striving to make it my home I have a few days yet to wander A few more hard battles to fight No comfort I find in the daylight the storms are descending each night Sometimes I'm both tossed and driven Sometimes I know not where to roam I heard of a city called heaven I'm going to make it my land of danger no comfort or peace do I find I am a poor wayfaring stranger to troubles and trials confined I hope that they take me in 